What's up, members of the Barrio? It's John coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina, and the Queen City needs to be on your radar. From amazing food to NASCAR and more, I'm gonna give you all 10 reasons to visit Charlotte right now. Guys, make sure to tell me down below in the comments if I missed anything, I'm curious. Here we go. While Charlotte has some very historic properties, the Dunhill is one of your best options. It's like stepping back in time every single stay. If you're anything like me, most hotels feel like clones of each other. Not the Dunhill dating back to 1929. Staying here is an experience. From the second you walk into this landmark, you'll appreciate the Gilded Age touches in the lobby, to the hallways, and of course, the well-appointed rooms. I loved everything in it. The antique furniture, the super comfortable bed, the classical bathroom. Heck, the room even has three plug outlets on each side of the bed. If you're gonna stay in Charlotte, I highly recommend this historic gem, which also has a perfect uptown location. If you're in town and want to kick the weekend off right, Food Truck Friday at Sycamore Brewing rotates in some of the city's best food trucks, so make sure to come with an empty stomach. We're going to talk about food a lot on this video, and what better way to start than by going to one of the city's best congregations of food trucks. With so many options to choose from, Team Adriana and I began at Felix's Empanadas. I appreciated their take on this Argentinian specialty. From steak to chorizo, Adriana enjoyed every single one she had. As soon as I passed Baltimore Crab Cake Co., I had to order a sandwich of immediately and this crab cake was on point. I'm getting hungry just watching this replay. We also heard great things about Queen City sliders and Poppy Queso grilled cheese. As an extra fun treat, order a beer from Sycamore Brewing, one of the many great breweries in the city. Which brings us to our next reason to visit. There's over 50 breweries in the Charlotte region, which is exploding almost as rapidly as the population growth of the Queen City. If you like craft brews, you're gonna love Charlotte. One great idea is to walk or ride the Charlotte Rail Trail so you can hop between many different breweries. Start at Triple C Brewing. I don't know what we enjoyed more, the blonde beer or the shuffleboard table in the back. If you wanna try something different, hit up Lenny Boy Brewing, known for their kombucha, which is a fermented tea that's not only healthy, but was surprisingly tasty. Cap off a Rail Trail beer crawl at Suffolk Punch, which had the most social vibe of the three on a Friday night. Check out where they brew their stuff and enjoy some of Charlotte's finest beer. We're gonna throw in one bonus place while on the subject of beer in the Queen City. Thanks to a few of our viewers, we were tipped off to the Salud Beer Shop. This place is quirky and right up our alleys. Pick your own beer from their massive selection downstairs. Wander the very Instagrammable hallway to the second floor where they have their serviceria. A very cool place to spend an afternoon or evening. And with some of the best beer selection in Charlotte, don't skip a visit here. While Charlotte has a fair share of pro sports teams, there's something special about attending a minor league baseball game, and BB&T Ballpark is one heck of a setting. The Charlotte Knights have an incredible AAA facility. For the hardcore baseball fan, the sight lines are incredible, and the view of uptown Charlotte over the outfield wall is better than at many big league ballparks. This has been voted one of minor league baseball's best stadiums, but even if you're not a huge baseball fan, there's still plenty to keep you entertained. Like that crazy mascot, Homer the Dragon, or how about the between inning promotions? By the way, they sell tons of local craft beer at the stadium. From Philly cheesesteak to Latin street food, even shaved Kona ice, there's so many food choices to satisfy 
any taste. Did I mention all the souvenirs? But there's always something special about taking your family to see America's pastime, and a trip to BB&T Ballpark is highly recommended. We're in Plaza Midwood, a trendy and rather quirky neighborhood of Charlotte. We're gonna learn all about this area by eating. Plaza Midwood is a can't-miss neighborhood of Charlotte full of unique shops and restaurants. Feast food tours will help you learn all about it. Paige, our informative guide, explained how it would all work. So we're going to be walking from place to place. Um, we'll be at each stop from anywhere from about 25 minutes to 35 minutes. This food tour had a little bit of everything, from pizza to burgers, even smoothies, all the while we learned about Plaza Midwood while hopping between six different venues. A lot of people didn't think that anything would come out of Plaza Midwood. They were like, no, this neighborhood, it's kind of a lemon, nothing's gonna kind of come of it. Now it's booming, it's thriving. I even tried Cheerwine, a North Carolina classic. But my favorite part was just meeting new people and seeing the inside of some really neat Charlotte restaurants while finding out more about them from their owners and general managers. We're gonna continue on this food theme throughout the video, believe me. You could walk around Uptown Charlotte, but I recommend picking up one of the many scooters parked all over the city and getting around in style. For as little as 33 cents a minute, download any of the scooter apps like Lime, punch in your location, and unlock a neat form of transport. For the record, Team Adriana was way better at this than I was. Uptown Charlotte has some great sights, so zip around as the city passes you by. This is the perfect quick way to explore the busiest parts of the Queen City and have a little fun at the same time. If you start to get hungry, hop off at the 7th Street Public Market, our next reason to visit Charlotte. 7th Street Public Market is more than just a food hall. They aim to highlight local farmers and food artisans and is a great place to go for breakfast. Any market that supports local business is a winner in my book, but this place actually has amazing food as well. We came for breakfast and your first stop needs to be not just coffee. They had one of the best lattes I've tried in a really long time. As for food options, there's too many to choose from. We opted for Uptown Yolk, run by a famous local chef, and they impressed us by turning a simple egg breakfast into a delicious treat. We love this market so much that we came back a second day to try Hazelnut Creperies breakfast, and they turned us into believers. Look at that cheesy goodness. But from pastries to sauces, you can find something for anybody at the 7th Street Public Market. When the lights go down in Charlotte, it's time for some cocktails and the Queen City has some great choices. If you're into rooftops, we recommend Nouveau-Lay. 22 floors above the city, enjoy your libations high above in a classy joint. Our personal favorite was Dot Dot Dot, a prohibition style bar you need to be a member to get in, but membership at $10, which can be prepaid online, has its privileges. This speakeasy run by Stefan Hubner, whose nickname is the Wizard of Whiskey, knows how to make a drink. There wasn't a single cocktail we didn't love, from the presentation to the taste, and paired with the incredible decor inside, this was one of the most unforgettable experiences of our time in Charlotte, and should be a must visit if you're in the Queen City and want a great night out. Charlotte has some amazing museums, and NASCAR is the king of the Queen City. If you can't make it out to the Charlotte Motor Speedway, coming to the NASCAR Hall of Fame is the next best thing. 
We're gonna tell you about two great museums and how could we possibly leave out NASCAR when talking about Charlotte. The Hall of Fame is part museum, part shrine to some of the legends of the sport. I hardly knew anything about NASCAR and I found this place super fascinating. I'm a sucker for hands-on exhibits and my absolute favorite was riding inside a simulator that was in a replica car. No more car. <laughs> I finished in fourth place for the record, but you can practice being in the pit crew or just wander around staring at all of the amazing memorabilia and exhibits. Another museum we highly recommend is the Levine Museum of the New South, whose exhibits focus on life in the South after the Civil War. See what it was like living in the South in the 19th century. Dress up like an old school barber. No hair was harmed in this filming. Learn more about the sit-in movement and the fight for civil rights. I learned so much after just one hour here. This is a great spot for families and children. Remember I kept talking about food? Well, I'm saving the best for last. A closer look at our three favorite places that we ate on this trip. Charlotte is an incredible town to eat in. Let's start with brunch, and no surprise, we're going inside a brewery. Heist Sunday all-you-can-eat buffet at $19 may be one of the best values in the city if you're hungry. The amount of food selection was mind-blowing, from standards like eggs and grits to a donut and pastry selection that is making me salivate even right now. You cannot, I repeat, cannot skip the Waffle Station. They have a dedicated staffer whose sole focus is to make some of the fluffiest waffles you've ever had. Top it off with some syrup and bring that full plate back to your table. If you have any room left, Heist is happy to let you sample any of their many beers on tap. Next up, a classic Charlotte hole in the wall, Price's Chicken Coop. This operation is no frills and incredibly efficient. Our fried chicken order was delivered to us so fast, I thought it was somebody else's, but they're busy for a reason. Grab a seat outside, believe me, this tasted as good as it looked. We even got a few extra hush puppies and were stuffed eating at one of the Queen City's most famous places. Finally, you haven't been to North Carolina unless you've had some barbecue and the Midwood Smokehouse lives up to its local hype. We ordered everything from the St. Louis style pork ribs to the classic Carolina pork, Team Adriana approved. My beef brisket had the perfect mix of fatty and lean parts and was oh so good. Eating at any of these three joints will certainly cap off an amazing trip to Charlotte, which is absolutely an amazing city. Members of the Barrio, tell me down below in the comments what you thought of Charlotte. You know, which of these places to eat or hang out most interest you. I'm curious. Special thanks to the CRVA for making this video possible. Guys, subscribe if you're new to this channel for more travel adventures from around the world. Thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time.